Um, Greg Robinson, this is his uh, muck shot right next to his Cleveland Browns uh, pitcher. Made over $29 million in his career. Got caught trafficking in 2020. Have no idea why the charges was dropped, but apparently he had a great lawyer. He must have had that Anton Daniels pack, that Tej pack for that lawyer. And then eventually he found himself being arrested with a bunch of stuff in his Escalade, doing dirt by his lonely. He didn't get caught the first time and say, you know what, I'm done with it. He said, and I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. 29 M's in his career. And this is examples, ladies and gentlemen, of you can make a lot of money, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you are a business person. Anybody can start a business. Very few people can actually operate, own, and understand things from a business perspective. Let me tell you what I meant to do today. Right off the bat, let me tell you what I meant to do today. I meant to get right into the show and start talking about the number two pick that was arrested for drugs. Former number two pick was arrested for, um, held on eight felony drug charges. Listen, I'm going to just tell you, it's almost like these NFL players can't get right. These guys can't get right. That should be their nicknames. Can't get rights. These NFL players refuse to do the right thing. Shout out to Sir Shy. Sir Shy says, morning, Anton. Should Pistons trade for Harden? That's an absolute no. That is a definitive absolute no. No Pistons should trade for Harden. We going younger. We got, we one of the best salary caps in the league. We got the number one pick. We probably going to get another number one or number two pick, and then we're going to take off. We got the best GM in the league. Shout out to Troy Weaver. That's an absolute no. Jay Ben says we could get a grandfathered rate if, if we're on the calendar before the new pack touches down. Can't wait until mines come up. L.A. meetup was fire. Shout out to Jay Ben. It was absolutely dope. I appreciate you for showing up to the L.A. meetup. I um, mean, you are right. You're right. When you book today, you get that grandfather rate, and it is what it is. So shout out to the smart ones. Victor says, likes are free, family. Thank, shout out to Victor for the $5 super chat. Um, my boy Emmanuel Williams says, amen, preach Pastor Daniels. I appreciate you, Emmanuel, for tapping in with me. Thank you to all of the super chats, the cash apps, the bag chasers. Again, link to the Patreon is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. I love you. I appreciate you. But let's talk about this number two pick. What is wrong with these NFL players? I'm curious. Quick hit. Quick hit. What's wrong with these NFL players? I can't figure them out to save my life. It's almost like they don't even want anything or, or it's like they can't get away from the hood. Why is the former number two pick in the NFL trafficking? Why is the number two NFL, in a former number two NFL pick trafficking? Stacy Rubin says the biggest statement though was get started and stay consistent. Keep preaching, bro. I love you. Are always grinding and showing receipts. Oh, you know what? I, I I was thinking to myself in the shower. I should show them. I should show them my credit report. Like I should pull it up online and show them my credit report because I had this other part of the video that I want we gonna get into that all right so listen listen former number two pick is arrested on eight felony drug charges ladies and gentlemen eight felony drug charges let me go ahead and share it with you guys um this right here is Greg Robinson some of you may know him some of you may not maybe they are making these decisions in the honor of the Super Bowl Super Bowl is coming. Maybe they're doing this in honor of a Super Bowl. So let's continue. Former NFL offensive lineman Greg Robinson faces eight felony drug charges or eight felony charges after police say they found him in possession of multiple drugs with intent to distribute. <sighs> Alequandria said they want to be hood rich. <laughs> I just want to be regular rich. I just want to, you know what's so funny about drug dealers? The most successful ones, you never heard of them. I never understood criminals. And let me tell you why. It wasn't that I didn't understand that they was a criminal or that they didn't do something wrong. Everybody has done something wrong in their life. It has nothing to do with the criminalization of the person, right? The thing that I'm trying to understand is, why are the, if you got away with it the first time, 
Why do you do it a second time? They say most people that commit crimes, they catch most murderers. And again, I'll be watching Mind Hunters. I'll be watching Criminal Minds, all of that type of stuff, right? Emmanuel Williams say, your credit report is Patreon level information. So y'all want me to just show that in a Patreon? All right. I'll, I'll be more than willing to show my credit report. No problem whatsoever. I mean, you know me. I can give y'all a glimpse right now. I have no problem in showing my junk right now. I'll show y'all my number and everything. Uh, Self-engineering says the spirit of Pookie is persistent. <laughs> I don't have no. I I'll show y'all right now. You know, I have no problems. Here y'all go. We can just scroll up and down. See how we scroll. Oh, my bad. Let me go to this other camera. See how we just scrolling up and down on the app right there. Here I'll show y'all. Um, there you go. Zero credit cards, zero derogatory, 18 accounts, one hard inquiry. That's my, that's my factors. Oh, wait, but Anton got all this stuff on his credit report. <laughs> We're not going to get into it. Oh, wait, Anton got all of these payments. We'll deep dive into my credit. And we'll get into exactly how I was able to do what I'm able to do. Anyways, let's continue, ladies and gentlemen. Emmanuel, I'm sorry. You know me. Anton is the receipt king. That's what I like to do. That's what I like to do. I'm the receipt king. We're not going to wait for the Patreon for that one. We just going to get, we show the W-2s on the Patreon. We get into it. It is what it is. So go ahead. We're going to continue to go. We're going to continue to get. Receipt King is in the building. <laughs> Let's continue. But no, 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 no. What I wanted, to, what I wanted to talk about was why don't they, if they get away with it the first time? Look, Dave Ramsey just entered the chat. <laughs> why, when they get away with it the first time, that they don't? keep going like why they don't just okay i won i'm getting out of the game i gotta keep it moving i won i gotta keep it going yep hey britney we we not gonna get into that that's now you're really starting to get into the patreon level content britney shh, shh, shh. anyways <laughs> anyways you currently at 785? That's dope. I think that that's absolutely dope. I think that that's awesome. I think that that's awesome. But anyways, why don't they just keep it moving? Why don't, why is a former number two pick? All right, so let me go ahead. I'm going to get into the show. I'm going to get into, y'all getting me distracted. Y'all getting me distracted. Whew. Offensive, former NFL offensive lineman Greg Robinson faces eight felony charges after police say they found him in possession of multiple drugs with the intent to distribute. Robinson, the number two pick in the 2014 draft, was in custody on Wednesday in a Louisiana. Shout out to my Louisianans. Shout out to Cheryl. In a Louisiana jail facing $315,000 bond, uh, the Thibodeau Police Department announced his arrest on Wednesday. Hmm. Un unreal. According to police, a K-9 unit pulled Robinson over on a traffic stop at midnight on Monday in Thibodeau. You know what I'm trying to figure out? They say anything. I don't know. What's my rate? Let me see where I'm at. Anything above 740? What? Anton is above 740. Anton is above 740. Wow. No, they don't believe it. They're going to say, Anton, you lying. Anton, you lying. You hold credit card debt. All right, well, let's see. February 10th, no score change. Let's go into it. Oh, wait a minute. My balance increased by $7. Ooh, wait. 
My balance increased by seven dollars though. My daughter got a card. Sometimes she liked to buy seven dollars worth of stuff. Anyways, let's continue. Um, no more showing receipts today, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta get to the we gotta get to the rest of the show. All right. We gotta get to the rest of the show. All right, so let's continue. K9 unit pulled over Robinson on a traffic stop at midnight on Monday. A police dog alerted officers to the presence of drugs in Robinson's Cadillac Escalade. Oh, haters gonna say, what, what they gonna say? It's a JPEG. Well, I guess we should scroll a little bit then, huh? I'm so petty. I'm so petty. Getting that, getting that, that buy-in. I'm so petty. Haters gonna say it's a JPEG. I'm so petty. Why y'all making me do this? Why y'all making me do this? Why y'all making me do this? Mm. Why y'all making me do that? Hmm? Why y'all making me do that, huh? I'm just going to say it's a JPEG. <laughs> uh, police dog alerted officers to the presence of drugs in Robinson's Cadillac Escalade initiating a search per the report police say found multiple drugs in the vehicle prompting them to obtain a warrant to search multiple properties owned by Robinson so they didn't just search the car they got the warrant they arrested him and then they searched multiple properties According to police, they subsequently found approximately 3.16 pounds of suspected crystal meth. I'm the petty king. <laughs> now they're going to say it's a video. <laughs> um, don't y'all be trying to use my credit report to buy anything either. Um, let's see. Three pounds of crystal meth. 2.22 pounds of suspected cocaine, four grams of crack, 220 doses of suspected hydrocodone. So he, he not only got the stuff to, but he also got the stuff to bring you back. All right. Hydrocodone, 48 doses of expected, uh, suspected oxy, 18 doses of aprilazolum. I have no idea. No idea what that what that word is. Um, I am a C student. Um, and and 40 pounds of, of of trees. 40 pounds of trees. He was out here getting it. He didn't have one drug of choice. Uh Jen, Jen Coma says my credit needs your help. He didn't have one drug of choice. He had everything. Let's go back through this again. 3.16 pounds of suspected suspected crystal meth, two pounds of suspected cocaine. Four grams of crack, 227 doses of hydrocodone, 48 doses of suspect, suspected oxy, 18 doses of Alpra. I don't even know what that is. So I'm going to just say Alpra. And then 40 pounds of trees. Police say they also found drug trafficking equipment and paraphernalia. Gun magazine. Oh, he thought he was. Uh, he thought he was Big Meech. Larry Hoover. Jesus. Gun magazines, ammunition, a small amount of cash, and an estimated value of the drugs at $120,000. He was out here running a, running a checkup. Robinson is charged with two counts of intent to distribute cocaine, two counts of possession with intention to, uh, intent, to, intent to distribute marijuana, one count each of possession with intent to distribute crack cocaine, hydrocodone, Alpra, meth, all felonies, being held in, uh, basically being held in jail in New Orleans, 60 mi 65 miles west of New Orleans. <laughs> Don't y'all start that credit repair. <laughs> Need some discrepancies deleted. <laughs> oh, my God. Check it out. Robinson, 29. He's only 29 years old. Played six NFL seasons uh, as a starting left tackle with the St. Louis Los Angeles Rams, Detroit Lions. I don't even remember one of the Detroit Lions. Cleveland Browns. Rams selected him out of Auburn in 2014. Last play for the Browns in 2019. Check this out, y'all. This is the caveat right here. He earned more than $29 million in his playing career. Why are you out here trafficking after you've earned over 
million dollars and you running around what hundred and twenty thousand dollars in drugs guns magazines cocaine methamphetamine alpra oxy and all of this other type of stuff y'all better stop listening to all of these rappers oh exam exanis good looking out y'all said y'all just looked it up it's a zan all right <sighs> This don't make, you know, honestly, this makes me sad. This really, really makes me sad. He earned more than $29 million in his playing career, and he running around like he big Meech. That makes no sense. Like, I can even start to make, I mean, it's still not right. I don't advocate for anybody doing it. I can make sense if somebody actually didn't make no money in their career, Check it out. And then he got somebody else. Robinson was previously previously arrested alongside former Auburn teammate Quan Bray on a marijuana charge in 2020. Border Patrol agents said they found Bray and Robinson in possession of 156 pounds. So in 2020, they found him in possession of 126, 156 pounds, 160 pounds of marijuana, cash and distribution equipment at the border checkpoint. It's not clear how or why the case was, was resolved for Robinson. Maybe he is Big Meech. Maybe this dude is Larry Hoover. Bray has since pleaded guilty to one charge while having another dropped and going on to play in the CFL. Slated to become a free agent at the time of his previous arrest and hasn't played since. So it sounds like he might be one of the bag fumblers of the year. Stacy says this is a trend for him in 2000. Yep, you said it too. You said it. He made over 30, about 30 million as a career. This dude is straight up out here running the bag up. That makes no sense. You know, he he should be in contention for the bag fumbler of the year. But that one went to, went to uh, Mason Greenwood is the number one pick for the bag fumbler of the year right now. So, again, um, Greg Robinson, this is his uh, muck shot right next to his Cleveland Browns uh, pitcher. Made over $29 million in his career. Got caught trafficking in 2020. Have no idea why the charges was dropped, but apparently he had a great lawyer. He must have had that Anton Daniels pack, that Tej pack for that lawyer. And then eventually he found himself being arrested with a bunch of stuff in his Escalade, doing dirt by his lonely. He didn't get caught the first time and say, you know what, I'm done with it. He said, and I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. 29 M's in his career. And this is examples, ladies and gentlemen, of you can make a lot of money, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you are a business person. Anybody can start a business. Very few people can actually operate, own, and understand things from a business perspective.